Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're sharing our recipe for a ramen noodle salad. This is quick and easy and so delicious. And we'll also share how we make our cream cheese puffs. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Now let's get to the recipe. Today's video is also part of a group collaboration hosted by my good friends Shauna from the Dickinson Homestead and Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen. If you haven't checked out their channels yet, I'll leave them linked down below. And I'll also have a playlist where you can check out all of the other spectacular salad recipes. So here are the ingredients for our salad. I'll have the recipe typed out in the description box below. The only things I forgot to put in this clip here are some pineapple juice, and sesame oil. So we have some leftover Asian style rotisserie chicken from the night before. You could use a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store or any chicken you wanna use, or you can just leave it out. We have one head of Napa cabbage, some green onions, some roasted and salted sunflower seeds, two packages of ramen noodles. It doesn't matter what flavor because you're not gonna use the seasoning packets. Then we have some butter, for the dressing we have some hoisin sauce, some teriyaki sauce, I usually use the Berry Teriyaki brand, but my store was out this time. Then we have some soy sauce and rice vinegar. And here I'm showing salt and pepper, but we actually didn't use the salt. Some garlic powder, onion powder, and ground ginger. To start out, we're going to break up our ramen noodles into small pieces. We also melted two tablespoons of butter, and we're going to mix that in with the ramen noodles along with one teaspoon of sesame oil. We're just gonna toss our ramen noodles in the melted butter and sesame oil. Then we're gonna put these on a baking sheet and bake these at 350 degrees for 10 minutes, stirring halfway through until they're toasty. For the cabbage, I just took off a few of the outer leaves and cut off the bottom. Then I cut it all into thin shreds. Then I'm just gonna get this all into my salad spinner and get it clean. Next, I just chopped up our chicken. Like I said, you don't have to use chicken if you don't want to. 
we never had before. This was something we added this time, and it was actually a really good addition. After we let our ramen noodles cool for a little bit, we added those in too. Now we're gonna get started on our dressing. We're gonna use a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. A half a cup of teriyaki sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, then we're going to add in our onion powder, garlic powder, ginger, and pepper. We just did these to taste, but we probably added in about half a teaspoon of each. Finally, we added a fourth of a cup of pineapple juice to our dressing. Then we got that all mixed in with our salad and added in half a cup of sunflower seeds. We just gave this a good mix and covered it with plastic wrap and stuck it in the fridge while we got started on our cream cheese puffs. These are super easy. All you need is some crescent rolls and some cream cheese. And to ours, we add some hot Thai curry, which is totally optional. And we also added some honey, which I forgot to picture here. So to about a third of a block of cream cheese, we added a fourth of a teaspoon of curry. Of course, that all depends on how much of that curry flavor you want. And we also added half a tablespoon of honey. We just rolled that cream cheese mixture up in our crescent rolls and we put these in our air fryer at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. This is one of my all-time favorite recipes, and it's even better for lunch the next day. We topped our salad off with our sliced green onions and served it alongside those cream cheese puffs with some soy sauce for dipping. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future recipes. Also, don't forget to check out Shauna and Kat's channels, as well as the playlist so you can check out more spectacular salads.